I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and don't forget that we live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, and you can catch us live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, and also, please join the channel as a member if you haven't already. Drop super chats when you come by the live stream, and super thanks when you come by the um, when you come by the videos to check out the content. TKO debate series is back on and popping. We just finished the World Series of Debates tournament, um, and it was a it was a huge success. We'll be doing the second annual tournament next year. So hopefully, if you didn't join, you'll join next time, and if you did join, you'll join again. But let's get it cracking, bro. We got. Fight prediction time. Bruce Carrington, Luis Perozo, eight round featherweight fight. Perozo out of Ecuador, 32 years old, five foot eight with a 72 inch arm reach. He's an orthodox fighter. Carrington also orthodox out of New York, um, 72 inch arm reach, five foot eight, 26 years old. He's seven wins, no losses, four wins by way of knockout. Perozo, 16 wins, six losses, nine wins by way of knockout, and he's been knocked out twice. Look, man, Luis Perozo is the top ranked. Prospect fighter, bro. He he fights every prospect from 126 to 135. Top rank, put him in there with him, and he be getting his ass whooped. He done lost six of his last seven fights. He done been in there with Giovanni Cabrera when he was over on top rank. Orlando uh, Gonzalez, Henry LeBron, who's on this card, and we just did his fight prediction. And he been in there with Raymond Muratala, bro. Let me tell y'all something, man. Perozo is an okay journey level fighter. Bruce Carrington in his first eight-round fight. Or it might be his second eight-round fight, bro. He is, to me, to me, bro. I hosted a Raymond Ford, Bruce Carrington debate on this channel. And to me, my personal opinion, bro, if I had an opportunity to do that debate, I'd choose Bruce Carrington hands down, bro. Bruce Shoo Shoo Carrington looked like he got everything, man. Former, you know... Olympic trials winner. The reason he didn't go to the Olympics is he decided to go pro, but he beat Duke Reagan, who ended up representing America in the in the Olympics. Um, he beat Duke Reagan um, in the in the um, in the Olympic trials. And if you look at both of them, no disrespect to Duke Reagan, but Bruce Shushu Carrington looked like a much better professional fighter, bro. I'm talking about nice stiff power jab, good understanding of distance, good defense, fundamentals, counter punching ability, nasty. Comfortable on the inside, a lot of guys, and that's the, when you're looking at a, a, a young fighter, bro. It's like a lot of them be talented, but are you comfortable in all aspects of the fight? Are you comfortable at range, mid range, throwing in between shots? Are you are you comfortable fighting inside, or do you grapple on the inside to try to just do shit you comfortable with, or do you show that you're comfortable no matter where the fight takes you? When they do get you, your back against the ropes, can you? Swim in there, and you know what I mean? Like, Bruce Carrington do it all so far, bro. And you would expect nothing less because he is 26 years old. So he's he's 7 and 0 with four knockouts, but it's a mature, fundamental, poised, kind of almost a finished product already type of 7 and 0. Like, he, he with it, bro. He with it. And that's why I think they need to move him fast. He need to be in 10 round fights by the end of this year. By the time they put him at 27. When he's 27 years old in 2024, I need to see Bruce Shushu Carrington fighting the top of 126 pounds trying to become a champion if he's able to keep making that weight because he is a long, wiry, featherweight, 5'8", 72-inch arm reach. Those Earl Spence dimensions, bro. That's welterweight dimension. So, you know what I mean? He, he may not be making 126 for much longer, but I think he'll probably make 132 if he decides to go up there, bro. And then if he get up there with the lightweights, I mean, shit, there's a lot of sharks up there. But he looking like a shark, too. So I, I'm curious to see what Bruce Shushu character going to be able to do as he continues his career. But in this fight, he about the dog walk, buddy. <laughs> in this fight, he about the dog walk, buddy. Like, we want to see, like, for me, I love that. This, I just want to see, do you look better against him than Henry LeBron did? Do you look better against this guy than um, Raymond Muratala did? Do you look better against this guy than Orlando Gonzalez did? And then can we get Bruce Shushu to get matched up with a Henry LeBron? Get him matched up 
with a um, you know what I'm saying, Orlando Gonzalez. Those is the type of dudes I want to see him fight next. Cause I think he's ready for that type of step up. But in this fight, man, he's just gonna be too skilled. Perozo too basic. He can and fodder. He he he. You know what I'm saying? He fool for somebody. He a T-bone steak, bro. He a porterhouse for somebody like Bruce Shushu Carrington. I think Bruce Shushu Carrington gonna be more successful outside with his jab and his range work, controlling the dishes when he get inside, get mean, get nasty, the body work. Uh, the way that he able to beat you down, don't stop, bro. Being defensively responsible while walking to you with an accumulation of ass whooping and counter punching ability, bro. He that that style that these guys are coming with, bro. I'm loving the 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 style of you know what I'm saying. You got the Texas shit that Earl and Virgil do. I'm gonna walk to you behind my my power jab. I'm gonna get my body work in there on you. You know what I mean? I'm going to make you sit down and fight with me because I believe in my strength and my power and I got more than you. That's how Virgil and Earl fight. Now, Earl at a much higher level, much more defensively sound, much more nuanced to his game, way higher work rate, more responsible with his fundamentals and his technique. Virgil's more brute strength and powerful with his shit. I'm liking what I'm seeing out of the the, the Shakur Stevenson. I think he he do he do this, this style the best, but Shakur, Keyshawn Davis, Bruce Shushu Carrington fights like this. You know what I mean? That uh, Abdullah Mason fights in a similar fashion. That style of, I'm going to be front-footed, and I'm walking you down, but it's behind good counter-punching, good defensive uh, responsibility. If we do get inside, I'm comfortable there too. But I'm not your typical counter-puncher boxer that you would think when I'm on the back foot. These dudes are starting to be boxers coming to you on the front foot, and it's showing that it's a problem to deal with. Shushu is cut from that mold, and I love it, bro. And he gonna beat this dude ass, man. I ain't got much more to say. I got Shushu by stoppage. He in New York, putting on in New York. He gonna turn up. He got that type of mentality, bro. You can just see it. He wanna put on the show. So just winning ain't enough for him. So he gonna try to turn up. He gonna try to make his punches count. And he gonna try to beat this dude down and make the ref stop the fight. And he always in shape. He always ready to rumble. So I have no doubt that he can do it. He got that type of power to where I don't think it's gonna be one punch. It's just gonna be a technical ass whooping. It gonna be a I'm better than you ass whooping. I'm hitting you so cleanly. I'm beating your ass up at range, popping you with this power jab, this stiff jab, this stab jab and shit. When I get in close with you, I'm turning into my shots and shit. I'm landing hooks down to the body, the uppercut inside nasty. When I'm giving you that shoulder rolling on you, countering you and shit, he just gonna beat the dude there, bro. Round five, round six, stoppage. That's what I see. Shout out Bruce Shushu Carrington and all of New York. That's who I'm rocking with in this fight. Y'all let me know who y'all got. Comment below. Smash the like, sub to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and don't forget your boy go live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30. I'll see y'all soon, man. Peace out.